Hello everyone, welcome to today's class again. Here we have another challenge. Okay, the question is x equal to 2 to the power of x. What will be the possible value of x that when we plug into this equation, we satisfy this equation? Is there any number that we can put in place of x here? Then it will give us 2 to that same number. I believe you cannot have a, a real root from the solution, but if it is imaginary root, let's solve and see what would be this imaginary root. So if you're new here, this is Online Mass TV. If you don't subscribe, subscribe. And when you subscribe, do not forget to turn on the notification button so that you get notified whenever we release an amazing video. So without further ado, let's take this challenge down. So we have your solution first thing first. Now the question, let's put this question down. I said x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Now the number one thing I'm going to do here, I want to make the, um, the right hand side of the equation to be unity. And how do we achieve that? We have to divide by the quantity here. So we're going to divide this by 2 to the power of x. Whatever we do to the right hand side, we must do to the left hand side also. And so this, this leaves and this gives us more. And so we are now left with our x all over 2 to the power of x equal to 1. So what is the next thing we do here? I want to rewrite this denominator. Okay? Remember, if we have something of this kind, we have e to the power of ln of, let's take x, this will give us x. Why? Because this is ln base e. And so this e, we cancel this. All right, so this, this leave the system we now have this. So if we look at this expression or this identity, then I can rewrite the denominator. Sorry that this will not give us x all over our e to the power of ln of 2 to the power of x. And we wrote this way. Because if I cancel this, cancel this, it goes to come up with 2 to the power of x, which is dx here, right? Everything equal to a positive one. Okay, so what do we do next here now? According to the law of indices, I want to remove this division sign here and everything move up. And so this power here, we turn to minus. And so we're writing this, we give us here, your x times your e to the power of minus ln of two to the power of x equal to positive one. This has not really changed anything. We only try to do some manipulation to get the value of x that will satisfy this um, exponential equation. Okay, so what we do next here now? Look at this. According to the law of logarithm, we move the whole of these, okay? We move it this way, right? Remember the law. The law which says that if you have, um, let's continue on this side of the bird. The law says that if you have log, Let's take p, okay, sorry, k to the power of um, p. Okay, remember this law that and you have your natural base, then it says move this back here. So this will now give us here your p times your log your k, right? So if you remember this law, you recall this law, then what we do here is easy. All we need to do is to move this, this x back here. So we're going to have this to be x times our e to the power of minus x ln of 2. Everything equal to 1. We want to evoke the lambda w function, okay, the lambda wn function, otherwise known as the product law. But before we can do that, we make sure that what we have at the exponent here is same with what we have at the base. So here we have x, here we have x. So the difference between here and here is the minus ln of 2. And so we have to multiply both sides by minus ln of 2. So if we do that, this is going to give us here um, a minus x times our ln of 2 dot our e to the power of minus x ln of 2. This is equal to whatsoever we are doing to this side, we must do to this side also. So you are going to come up with our minus ln of 2 also. All right. Now, let's bring our lambda w function, okay, 
the Lambert W. Francher says that if you have a star, I normally use a star, okay? So a star times your e to the power of a star, and we take the Lambert W. N. Francher, which is also known as the product log, this will give us a star. Okay, so this is what we call the product log or the Lambert W. N. Francher. Okay, so what we do here now, we are going to evoke that into this expression. So this will now give us here the lambda wn bracket, our minus x ln of 2 times our e to the power of minus x ln of 2, all right, close bracket, equal to, we do same here. So we have here lambda wn into minus ln of 2, close bracket. Oh. Are we learning something here? Yeah. So what happened? Everything here we turn uh, to give us minus our x ln of 2 equal to our lambda w function, which is wn minus your ln of 2 close bracket. Easy. We're looking for x. So for us to get x, we have to divide by minus ln of 2. So let's divide by minus ln of 2. We also divide this side by minus ln of 2. Okay, so um, what happened? This minus goes with this minus, ln of 2 goes with ln of 2, so we are now left with x equal to, again, this minus can come up here, so we're going to have here your minus, all right, let's draw a line here, so the lambda w n bracket minus ln of 2, close bracket, all right, all over ln of 2. So this is the value of x. Now we can get the numerical value to uh, this x here because here we said n. Here n is a set of um, integers ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, da, 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 da. Not the word. To this expression here, we have infinite solution to this. So you either leave your answer in this format, you either leave your answer in this format, okay? Um, let me try to coil it well. Then if n is equal to zero, then the, some of the numerical values of, um, let me bring out one of the numerical value of x here. So we're going to have our x um, is equal to your 0 0.8246 seven eight minus one point five six seven four three two iota okay so this is one of the numerical value for our x but we stop here it's allowed here all right okay so this mark the end to our big uh, nice exponential equation so if you've learned something from this video Give the video a thumbs up, and uh, if you're not playing in the process of the explanation or teaching, then drop it in the comment section. I will reply to it. Thanks for being there all the time. Remember, we love you because you are always there. Bye for now.